a fat tire reverse Tadpole e-trike that can go off-road. Stick around to see it. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I'm nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. Today I'm with the 630 reverse fat tire e-trike. We're gonna show you how it can off-road. Now before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. All right, so this is brand new, the 630 fat tire reverse Tadpole e-trike. 16 inch by four inch tires in the front. 20 inch by four inch in the back. It's got a 750 watt rear hub motor with a 14, sorry, 15 amp hour battery up to 50 miles in a single charge. You got the five levels of pedal assist. You can have an optional front basket, seven speeds. We've got other videos on this on our YouTube channel. And I'm gonna show you how you can do a little off-roading. Now, I know I always get this with off-roading. Of course, this is not necessarily meant for mountains, right? But hard pack trails, dirt trails with these four inch tires, you can take it on. Now, this has the oscillating tilting steering, but it does stand on its own because of the four inch tires. So it's got pretty decent stability. It's something that you have to get used to. It feels more like a two wheel bike than a trike. But if you're in between going from maybe a two wheel to a three wheel, this is a really good option. And it's cool for the off-road because if you go into divots, one wheel will go up and the other will stay down. So it takes it pretty smooth. Now, I have been to this terrain before. It is really bumpy. Um, it's sort of a dead grass meets dirt meets weeds. Um, we can try to take it on a trail later, but we just had some rain here in California, so maybe a little muddy. But I just wanna show you how it does and uh, do a little loop around the course here. And, uh, have some fun. So here we go. Now we got gopher holes all over the place here too. So there are lots of potholes and divots everywhere. You're gonna see me bobbing like a bobblehead. Oh yeah, mounds of dirt over here. Lots of dirt. Let's just come down into this little hole right here. Now actually, on the outside here, we have a dirt trail. So it smooths out a little bit for me. Now I'm not gonna take these jumps. And we got a big old oh, hole right there we don't wanna go into. Let's go back towards our camera person. This is bumpy. So if you've ever watched our videos before, you would know that our camera person usually will follow me and come with me, but she's actually on a two wheel bike and it is really, really bumpy out here. So she doesn't have the right sort of equipment to do this. So that just shows you actually how bumpy it is. So let me do one more lap here. And normally I would think your hard pack trails aren't gonna be this bumpy. Oh, and there's lots of potholes. Woo! Oh yeah, let's just run over this weed slash bush. <laughs> this might be the land of the most gophers and history because there are holes everywhere. Either that or snakes, one or the other. All right. All right, Woo. So, hope we proved a point there about how stable this is over very unstable terrain. And uh, we got other videos if you want to see it perform on pavement and some more smoother trails. So 
All right, we're getting away from that seriously bumpy terrain. Now we're gonna try some grass, nice level grass here uh, with a couple little bumps. We'll show you how it performs. Actually really smooth and really easy on the grass. It's actually pretty fun. And I could just do throttle only as well. All right, now we also get a lot of questions about sand. Now, sand of a beach is hard if it's like the soft sand, almost impossible. Hard pack sand, no problem. I'm gonna try to show you if we can ride right through this sand right here in the park, because it's nice and hard packed. And I'm guessing it will be easy, and it is. And we can even climb right out of this little... See again with that steering, it makes going up and down these bumps pretty easy. We got some bigger holes right here. Up. Now the only thing you want to be careful of when you're taking turns is you don't want to spin out. We got our own little racetrack here. All right, there we go. Grass, sand, hard packed, no problem. Any questions at all, please comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Don't forget, this is gonna be linked in the description below if you wanna check it out. We also offer a 30-day test ride your e-trike policy. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for one year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we take care of it parts and labor. And lastly, join our community. We have a Facebook group called 630 Peddlers. There's thousands of members in there. Join the group to talk to existing riders before you purchase to ensure you're making the right choice. Then when you have yours, post in the group, make friends, and finally download our app to track your rides and compete on the leaderboard. So don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the rides.